Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Daisy. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create beautiful DTF and sublimation designs using the free graphic design program Inkscape. Before we dive into the tutorial, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and like this video to stay updated on new content. I post twice a week, Spanish versions every Monday and English versions every Thursday. If you don't have Inkscape yet, I invite you to visit inkscape.org and download the software. There you're gonna have the option to download for Linux, Windows, and Mac. And don't worry, this program is easy to use. Find tutorials about Inkscape on my channel. I'm going to show you how to make this design starting from zero. Go to Inkscape, click on File, Document Properties, change it from millimeter to inches, then change the measurements. I'm going to make a 12 by 12 inches canvas. I'm going to close this window and there is the working area. We're going to create this design. Click on the circle on the left and draw a circle on the canvas. Click on the top arrow go to the size bar above, open the lock, change it from millimeter to inches. This one is going to be eight by eight inches. Then press on the square and draw a rectangle on top of the circle. I'm going to change the color so you see it. Now place it like halfway of the circle. Select both layers Go to Path and click on Difference. Now select it, right click and duplicate. I'm going to change the color so you see it and I'm going to make it smaller and center it. Then I'm going to Click on that one, right click and duplicate again, and I'm going to change the color to red. That's going to be the center of the watermelon. And I'm going to resize it. Now I'm going to select the bottom layer and I'm going to change the color to green. Select all of it, and we're going to align using the bars on the right. Center vertically and top. Now we're going to cut a bite over there like this. Click on the circle and draw a small circle on top of the watermelon and duplicate it two times. Now select all of it, go to path and click on union. Now select those and the layer on top, the red one, only those two layers, go to path and click on difference. There it is. Now we're going to duplicate the red layer and we're gonna put it on top. Now we're going to click on this square that is the gradient, the gradient tool. We're gonna click on the bottom and stretch it to the top. Top arrow, go to filters, click on materials and cracked lava. Now duplicate the red layer again and we're going to use the gradient tool again from the bottom to the top. Select it and duplicate it. So we have two of those on top. Now select all of those layers and place them on top of the watermelon. Now we're going to draw the seeds. I'm going to click on the circle and then I'm going to draw an oval. 
top arrow, path, and object to path. Double click. Grab one of the little squares on the side and drag it to the top. Do the same on the other side. And there is the seed. Now we're just going to resize it and place as many as we need on the watermelon slice. To align them, I'm going to draw a big circle on top of the watermelon and I'm going to put the seeds around it. I'm going to place it on the top using this icon. Duplicate and place the other one on the other side. Now I'm going to rotate it using this other icon over here. And I'm going to place them all around the yellow circle. And we already have the watermelon slice ready. If you are going to use it for sublimation, you can leave it just like this, but if you need it for DTF printing, we're going to make some changes to it. Because as you see, where is the watermelon bite? You see that is white on the back and we need to remove that white area. Click on the paint bucket. Then we're going to color on the white and green area. Now we're going to remove the white layer and the green layer on the back. And we're going to change the color of the new layers we created. The first one is going to be white and the other one is going to be green. I'm going to change it for a darker green. Now it's ready. We can use it for sublimation and for DTF printing. Select all the layers, right click and group so it doesn't move. Now we're going to place it back on the canvas. And we're going to start adding text. We're going to click on the A and then click on the canvas and start typing. The font that I am using is called Bright Harmony. It's from Creative Fabrica. I'm going to link it in the video description down below. If you wish to change the font, just click on the T on the right and there you're going to see the list of the fonts that you have downloaded to your computer. I'm going to change the font on this one and I'm going to use the font that is called Adorable. This one is also from Creative Fabrica. I'm going to select it and apply. And there it is. Now to make it just like the one I showed you before, we're going to add offset. Select the font, go to path, then click linked offset. Click on the diamond on top of the font and stretch it to the outside to create your offset. And I'm going to change the color so you see it. I'm going to do the same with the other text. And ready. At the end, I might change the offset to white. I'm going to add some red drops in between the text. I'm just going to copy and paste. To make those drops, do the same process as we did with the seeds. We're almost finished, but now I'm going to add the yellow background on the back. Click on the circle. 
and draw a circle on top of the design. Top arrow, change the color to yellow or the color you wish, then go to filters, select distort, and click on torn edges. Keep it selected, then click on the gradient tool, then click on the top of the circle and drag it to the bottom. Now place it on top of the design and send it to the back using this icon. Now I'm going to change the color of the offset. It's going to be white. And I'm going to change the color of the text to black. And the design is ready to be printed or to be saved on your computer. You can save it on PNG. Select all the layers, right click and group so it doesn't move. And this is the first design created using the free graphic design program Inkscape. I love Inkscape because I can create lots of templates. Now I'm going to show you really quick how to create this other design. The process is very similar with the difference is that we're going to add those flowers that I got from Creative Fabric. We're going to draw a circle on the canvas. Then I'm going to change the color. Then I'm going to duplicate it, I'm going to place one on the bottom, the one on the top, I'm going to select it, go to filter, distort and torn edges. Now we place the other circle on top, duplicate the other circle. Now click on the square and create some lines on top of the circle. We're going to create a few of those. We can just duplicate the first one. We're going to create a sunset, a summer design. Now click on the paint bucket and paint in between the lines. Then erase all of those lines. Now we're going to add colors to each of those bars. Now that we already add the colors, we're going to remove the circle on the back. Next, we're going to use the gradient tool on each of those bars. Now we're going to select all of those layers, right click and group. Now we're going to place it on top of the circles that we already have, but I'm going to change the color to white, to the circle on top. Then I'm going to place the colors on top of it. Align it and next, we're going to add text, just like we did with the previous design. Also, I'm going to add an offset to the text. Select the text, go to path, then link offset, and grab the little diamond and stretch it to the outside. Change the color to the offset and ready. Now I'm going to decorate with these flowers that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica. If you would like to use these flowers, I'm going to link them in the video description below. And the design is almost ready, but I feel that is something missing. It's a sunset, so I'm going to add a sun. I'm going to 
insert a circle or draw a circle and change the color I'm going to use the gradient from top to bottom and place it behind the text and the design is ready select all the layers right click and group now you can print it for DTF or for sublimation now I'm going to show you how to save it on your computer select the design come to the bar on the right click on this page with the arrow then here you're going to type 300 dpi then click on this folder open the folder where you want to save it name it and save it now you can open it with another software and print it for example if you wish to print a DTF you're going to want to open the design using that specific program if you wish to do a sublimation printing straight from here select the design and place it on the white canvas go to file document properties and select the size of document you need to print I'm going to select letter size place it right inside of the canvas then go to file again click on print select your sublimation printer follow the prompt and print it now you already know how to create DTF and sublimation designs using the free graphic design program Inkscape I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like it, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and like this video to stay updated on new content. Thank you for your visit and until next time.